Jake Paul is terrorizing his neighbors. It's official he's finally pushed things too far. After months of chaos, Jake Paul is now facing a lawsuit from his millionaire Hollywood neighbors after terrorizing them with violent stunts and wild parties. The neighbors have complained that it's like they're living in a war zone, with all of the non-stop parties, pranks and fans that show up to their neighborhood every single day. Recently the 20 year old set fire to furniture in the backyard, and the flames from that went almost as high as the house. That is when neighbors said enough was enough and they are no longer feeling safe. News station KTLA went to the Team 10 house. Once there, a neighbor gave an interview saying, It used to be a really nice quiet street, and now it's just this war zone. We're families here and we're more than happy to have them live here if they were respectful of their neighbors but they're not. Once Jake saw the news crew outside, he went to talk to them. He even climbed up on top of the camera van and shouted to the crowd below, just riling the fans up even more. Next week, residents of the neighborhood are set to meet with police and council officials about the Team 10 house. And and they are hoping to file a class action lawsuit against them. Hey everyone and welcome back to LP, I'm Court McGinley. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful Wednesday. As always we have a bunch of interesting news stories headed your way, so without any further ado, let's get started. Next in more YouTube news, Roman Atwood's daughter has been born and she is the cutest little baby ever. Yesterday Roman uploaded a vlog titled She's Finally Here. Roman does daily vlogs, so after he didn't post for two days, people assumed it was because he was welcoming his baby girl into the world with his girlfriend Brittany and his two sons. Brittany gave birth to a a healthy baby girl at 2:30 p.m. on July 16th. In the vlog, we see the moments leading up to the birth and afterwards. Brittany gave birth at home with no medication, which is amazing. It takes a really strong woman to be able to do that. Roman announced that he will now go back to vlogging daily. All of us here want to congratulate the family on the happy, healthy baby girl. Next, the Trump administration just cut 200 million from teen pregnancy programs and research funding from 81 institutions across America. This loss accounts for two years worth of funding slashed from five-year grants that were awarded by the Obama administration back in 2015. Health officials have even stated that cutting the funding short by two years in a multi-year project effectively renders all of their research useless. Researchers will no longer have time to analyze the data that they've already been collecting for the past two years. One of the programs affected included the Health Teen Network in Baltimore, which was working on developing a phone app that would answer health questions from teen girls. Sometimes young girls are too scared or too embarrassed to ask certain questions, so this would have been really helpful. Another program affected is the Chicago Department of Public Health Counseling and Testing for Sexually Transmitted Infections. Many of these programs that are losing funding were designed to focus on groups of teens that were at the highest risk for teen pregnancy. Clearly these budget cuts are in no way going to advance progress on teen pregnancy prevention. These programs have already proven to decrease unplanned pregnancy, so why mess with success and harm millions of women? What do you guys think about this? Let me know down in the comments. Next, American Eagle is now selling a denim hijab. This is awesome and super cute. The company is trying to show that there are furthering their fight for diversity and acceptance. The hijab is making its first debut on the head of a beautiful 19 year old model. Her name is Halima Adin and she is the face of AE's fall campaign. Customers are absolutely loving this empowering ad. The hijab has already been released online and it's sold out in just a matter of days. The next release is going to be online exclusively as well and it's selling for $19.95. Halima took to her Instagram to say, Thank you American Eagle for encouraging young America to follow their passions, express their individuality and pursue their unique paths. It makes me proud because I stand for acceptance, making a positive difference in this world, and encouraging my peers to chase down their dreams. Next, Disney has officially released the first look into their new Star Wars land and it looks insane. My fiance loves Star Wars so I know he's going to freak out over this. Maybe this is how I can convince him to have our honeymoon at Disneyland. Yes, forget Hawaii. Back in 2015, Walt Disney Company chairman and CEO Bob Eager first announced the Star Wars Disneyland project. Fans were obviously super excited, but now two years later, these these new picks have blown their expectations out of the water. These 14 acre lands are currently built at Disneyland in Hollywood Studios. The models are extremely detailed and it shows off an interactive area similar to that of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter which is in Orlando. According to the model, guests will be able to interact with starships, Star Wars creatures and droids. Oh my god, this is like every Star Wars lover's dream come true. When it opens up, the park will have two main attractions. In one, the guests will pilot the Millennium Falcon, and another where guests are put in into a battle between the First Order and the Resistance. The park will be opening in 2019. Oh, okay, so I guess we can't go there for a honeymoon, but two year anniversary, maybe? Next, you guys know what's a delicious snack? 
pickles. They are so great. And you know what's an amazing thirst quenching beverage? Fruit punch. You know what's not awesome? Combining these two things into one. Sadly, this is a nightmare that will soon exist in our everyday lives. Walmart is behind releasing this monstrosity. Walmart, what the heck, man? I've always been a supporter of you. These two things, they should just not go together. Around 1,200 stores, mostly in the south, are now selling trop pickles. Yeah, pickles floating in a jar of fruit punch. I mean, come on, how does that sound good? The pickles will be under Walmart's great value brand. Oh my god, they're kidding, right? They are selling for two bucks each. I think I'll just stick to my garlic dill pickles. Thank you very much. Next, there's a new Snow White inspired makeup line, and it's every Disney fan's dream. To celebrate the 80th anniversary of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the same cosmetics is releasing a 15 piece makeup collection inspired by the original 1937 film. The company wanted to stay true to the vintage feel and drew inspiration directly from the movie's color palette. Fun fact the ladies who colored all of the cells for the original movie actually used their own makeup for the blush on Snow's cheeks. The collection will range from $15 to $68 and it will go on sale this fall. This palette is a replica of the actual storybook featured in the 1937 movie. This is something I need in my life. Let me know if you guys also want to purchase this palette down below. Well, there you have it. That's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see all of you tomorrow.